Good evening. Hi there. Can you hear me? Hi, teacher. Good evening. Good evening. How are you, Lucy? I'm very good. Thank you. How are you? I'm great. Thanks for asking. Welcome to the class. Welcome. Welcome to the class. Thank you so much for being on time. Hi there. Who else is there? I can see Herman and I can see Nelson. How are you, boys? Hello, teacher. Hey there. How are you? I'm okay. How about you? I'm great. Thanks for asking. Welcome to the class. And I can see Nelson. Hello, Nelson. How are you? Hello, teacher. Good evening. Good evening. Hi, okay. All right. So good. Okay. Welcome, everybody. Thank you so much for being on time. It's Thursday. So we are about to finish this week. So I hope, I know that you might be tired, but remember, it's almost Friday. Okay. And just remember one more week and basically the level is over. Okay. So we are going to have a lot of practice today. We are going to see different topic, different vocabulary. So I hope you remember the ones that we have been studying. How is the platform going? Uh-huh. Hmm. I didn't think so. All right. I can see some yeah. of you are working. And yes, yeah, some of you are very advanced, mm, but I can see some other guys need to try to advance a little bit, okay? Because uh, there are some people that they haven't finished. So be careful with the platform, okay? Uh, let's see. Um, I'm going to share with you how the platform is going so you can see your progress. Let me just open it. Okay, can you see the platform? Yes. Okay, can you see what I'm sharing, everyone? Yes? Yes, teacher. yes. Excellent. Okay, uh, some people, well, I think that everybody already finished uh, the unit one and two, so that's great. And in this case, I can see some people almost finished the unit number three, pretty good. Mm -hmm. So far so good. And remember guys, don't forget to complete the midterm. Some people already finished even the unit number four. So that's great too. And don't forget the midterm in the midterm, only one person hasn't taken the midner the midterm, so that is Adriana. And well, some people already finished the last exam, so that's great, excellent. What, so, are, what about me, Herman? <clears throat> let's see, Herman. Okay, you already finished the midterm. That's great. Let me see the progress of the next unit. Okay, I can see you already finished unit one and two. Cool. In the unit number three, you got 75. So you can work in more exercises so you can get 100% or at least 80. And you are working in the unit number four. So it's a pretty good advanced. It's great. So you just have to finish unit three and four and you just have to do the final test and it's over, okay? Okay, thanks. Very good. So everybody, do you have any question about the platform? Yes, nope. Anyone? Okay, so in this case, Adriana, I need you to take the midterm, okay? Porque es la única, you, you are the only one who hasn't taken the midterm. Remember that the midterm is in the unit number two. So I need you to take it, okay? 
try to take it as soon as possible because I'm sending the grades, guys. So if you don't take the exams, I'm not going to send any grades on you. So be careful with that. Remember, don't leave the platform by the last minute, okay? Uh, remember that tomorrow is Friday. Tomorrow we are going to be finishing the unit, uh, the week number four. The next week is the last one, okay? So we need to run on the platform. Uh, we cannot wait. So, well, let's see. But besides that, thank you so much for the one who has the camera on and the other ones. Guys, what are you waiting for? I want to see you. Keep the camera on, please. Cameras on. Okay, very good. Do you remember the topics that we have been studying during this week? Uh huh. Or oh, you don't remember? We have been. We have been speaking about speak. No, speaking. I, I, what is speaking. That? We have been. I speaking. have no. We have been speaking about warehouse. Very good, exactly, the warehouse. So we have been learning some vocabulary about it, okay? Also, what else? What else we have been talking about? Hmm, what else? Oh my gosh, you don't remember? Ah, I think that we're going to have another exam, maybe, right? <laughs> uh huh. I, I remember adjectives, some adjectives, and I remember what yesterday we practiced about um, noun, adjectives, and verbs. Okay. For one word for each one. I remember just that. <laughs> okay. So uh, we were talking about some characteristics, right? About a leader or a manager. And remember those characteristics can be positive or negative, okay? So um, we are going to continue discussing. We are going to combine those topics. We are going to continue talking about warehouse and the managers or leaders. So we are going to combine that and later we are going to see the next topic for this class. Just don't forget guys, some uh, people from Insafor can suddenly enter to the class uh, because they do that almost every day. So keep the camera on, okay? So that's the way that you prove that you are here in the class, that you are paying attention. If you are going to be listener, don't forget to add the word listener in your profiles. Now, um, I'm a little sick. <laughs> okay, so if sometimes or suddenly you listen to my voice a little bit weird, it's because of that. Okay, so. Probably class. <laughs> yeah right let's take vacations <laughs> uh, yeah I wish I could <laughs> no what we can do is I'm not going to talk you have to talk now you have to give the classes guys <laughs> all right so uh, I will need you guys to participate a lot because yeah I cannot talk a lot so uh, try to participate please all right, now let me share the presentation. Uh, give me a second, let me share it. Can you see what I'm sharing guys? Yes? Yes. Excellent. Okay, so today is June 8th, all right, uh, week three. Unit uh, week four, unit three. We are about to finish, guys. Be careful, be careful. Now, this is a topic that we are going to discuss today. <laughs> a little bit long. So we are going to provide suggestions about how to solve common issues. 
Okay. These issues, of course, are related to warehouse processes. But this is our class objective. I need a volunteer, please, for reading the class objective. I want to be a volunteer. Thank you. Go ahead. Provide suggestions to solve common issues related to warehouse processes. Class objective. Participants will be able to describe what you think you will do or what will happen in an in a specific situation in the future. Thank you. So guys, we are going to resolve issues and we are going to provide some suggestions and we are going to use future, okay? So we are going to see how can we combine those things. Now, before check that topic, yesterday we were talking about transitions of results. Can you give me some examples of transitions when we are talking about results? Can you give me examples? Therefore, it was uh, a word. Okay. Therefore, Therefore yes. Consequence, mm -hmm. consequently. Uh huh. What else? What else? And the other guys, do you remember the phrases that we studied yesterday? As a result. As a result, correct. So if you remember, we were discussing different types of connectors. So the idea is that we need to have two clauses. Do you remember what is the meaning of clauses? What is that? Clauses, clauses is, is have clauses have the same meaning uh, of uh, statements. Mm -hmm. Statement or sentence. sentence. Or a sentence, exactly. Yes. Sentences. It is a group of words. It's a group of words who have a, a meaning in together. Pretty good. So if I need to have a clause, what do I need to have? Only the verb or only the subject? Or what do I need? The structure is a subject. Um, subject would be a personal pronoun or no, no. Or, an, or a noun mm -hmm. plus a verb plus a um, complement. Correct. That so, is a clause. Exactly. A clause is a full sentence. Okay. In this case, guys, one clause can have meaning. And it's, it doesn't need another clause. And this is an example that we checked yesterday. If I say the label information was wrong, if we ignore the rest of the sentence, only this clause, does it make sense? Se entiende, the label information was wrong? Have sense. Yes, right? So that is the characteristic of a clause they make sense by themselves. So we can say that they are independent. Now, what are we doing? We have one clause here, one half hour here. We just need to connect them. And we are going to connect them using a transition. But I need to be careful with what? Punctuation. Mm -hmm. Yesterday, we were checking that we have different options. One of the options that I have, if I want, if I'm typing, of course, is I need a period. And what do I need next? Comma. A comma. Very good. And of course, don't forget the capital letter. But there is another option too. Instead of a point, what can I use? Do you remember the name of that one? 
It's a semicolon. It's a semicolon. Cool. So you can use a point or you can use a semicolon. Then you have the transition phrase. And at the end, always you need a comma. Okay? So, uh, these are the way that we can use the transitions. Of course, this is when you are typing. <laughs> when you are speaking, I mean, it doesn't matter. Yesterday, we were resolving some of the exercises, but we couldn't finish them. In the number one, do you remember what was the answer in the number one? Uh, yes, Magdalena, do you have a question? Yes, teacher, I have a question. I had uh, problems with a uh, statement in the platform, the last uh -huh. one, actually. And the problem was in therefore. Mm -hmm. Therefore, it, uh, don't, I, I can't do it correctly. I, can, mm -hmm. I can't do it correctly. What is the number I of the exercise? Isn't, I, I don't remember what happened. <laughs> because okay. some, we can check and we can identify if it is a mistake of the platform or if it is something that we can resolve. I, I, I check with point, without point and follow the examples in the mm -hmm. in the box in the chart what is in in my in my manual okay and with the other with the other exercises i don't have trouble i mm -hmm. don't i didn't have trouble following the examples in the in the chart okay but and therefore it was so hard i, no I don't worry. i don't you I couldn't find the mm -hmm. okay. Did anyone else had an issue with that exercise? The one who has been working on the platform. We are in the unit three. So did anyone else had issues when you got to this exercise? Me teacher. Yes, but, you too. Yes, but I think that in my case was the punctuation. Mm -hmm. But I resolved it with punctuation. I didn't remember what was the the problem, correct but... answer. <laughs> uh -huh, yes, yes. Uh -huh. Okay, let's see. Let's try to resolve it a little bit faster so we can check the answers and everybody can have the correct answers. But uh, yeah, I will need to know which exercise is it. Um, so let me try to find it. I mean, 3.5. Okay, let me open up the platform. Give me a second. The exercise number three. Only the number three? Yes, just the number three. Okay, the other me... one, I don't have troubles. Okay, pretty good. Give me a second. Okay, everybody, pay attention just in case that you have the same issues. Uh, is this the one? Yes, it is. Okay, let's pay attention in the number, which one? Three. Three, yes. Therefore. All right. So we got the warehouse doesn't have enough docks. Therefore, we have to put product in the aisles. Mm, okay, in this case, you will have two options. You can use the semicolon or you can use um, the point. Well, let's see if it works, if it is a punctuation or not. This is the first clause, okay? So I'm going to paste it. Let's try first with the semicolon, okay? Then I'm going to write the word therefore. Okay, then I need a comma space, I have the next clause, okay, paste it, 
And let's see if the answer is correct or not. Okay, so in my case, it seems like it's correct. I have the same answer. Maybe, maybe I have, maybe <laughs> I am wrong in one letter, maybe. Maybe. I have the, the same answer. <laughs> yes, look, in this scenario, this is not the correct option, but because the typing is very important, I suggest you guys to verify, I mean, pretty well the spelling, okay? Or you can copy and paste exactly the way that I did here. Uh, you can use another option. If you want, you can, instead of the semicolon, you can use the point. But if you are going to use the point, just remember that therefore needs capital letter. And that is the only change that you need to do. Okay. okay. So verified, maybe uh, is the spelling. Okay. So in this case, guys, because the sentence is pretty long, uh, as I said, I recommend you to check first the first clause, copy, <laughs> paste it. Let's try with the second option, point. Then you write, therefore, in capital letter, of course, comma, and then just put the next part. And don't forget the final point. And that's it. Okay. And then you can verify okay. if the second option is correct. And look, yeah, it's take it as correct too. <laughs> so you have those options. Okay. okay. Try, if it is still giving you issues, well, we have to check if maybe only one letter, because remember everyone, only one letter is run, everything will be run. Okay? Okay. Teacher, I follow, I followed your example and your instruction and my exercise is good. Ah, very good. <laughs> Excellent, nice, I'm happy. So guys, every time that you have issues with an exercise, please tell me, okay? I will try to help you and share with you what's the answer. Because I know sometimes it's not you. <laughs> sometimes it's a mistake on the platform. Especially in these exercises where you have to type, it's a little bit complicated. The platform only accepts one answer and if you don't write it exactly as it has to be the answer will be always wrong okay so please when you don't find the correct answer just tell me and i will help you okay no worries now we were doing this exercise yesterday so let's try to complete it if i say we remove items for cartons and packages so this is the first Clouds, right? So, what do I need next? After the first clause, what do I need? Uh, um, a point. Okay. In this case, you decide, right? If you want, you can write. Look, but what do I need next? Can I say? as a result like this a comma okay but can i say ah, this? A capital letter. Capital ah, letter. excellent capital letter and then a comma or what is the other option a semicolon mm -hmm. instead of the period or the point you can say Semicolon, do I need capital letter if I use a semicolon? Yes or no? No, teacher. No, I don't need it, right? Exactly. I need capital letter after the point, but not after the semicolon, okay? Now, in the sentence number two, uh, I need a volunteer for reading the number two, please. Me, teacher? Yes, go ahead. The vendor, the vendor is shipping multiply, multiple. Multiple it's items. Multiple, multiple items in a single box. Secondly, we have to waste time 
to open the box, to open the box, count the items and rebox them. All right. In this scenario, guys, what is the first clause? What do you think? Mm -hmm. What is the, the first vendor is The vendor is shipping multiple items in a single box. That is in a that single is the box. Mm -hmm. All right, exactly. That is the first one. So, and then what is the transition that I'm using here? Consequently. Very good. So, what can I do here? What is the punctuation that I need? Mm. Point. Okay. I, point. You can use a point, right? And what do I need next? Uh, capital letter. A capital letter. I need capital letter. And after that? Comma. Uh, comma. Comma. After consequently. Okay, and the rest of the sentence is the second clause. Pretty good. Is it easy or difficult, guys? The punctuations. I feel I feel I feel it like in Spanish. <laughs> After a point, you need a capital letter. Yes. When you finish the you have to do a comma. <laughs> <laughs> and and you know, guys, in Spanish, when we are writing, sometimes we don't pay attention to the yeah. punctuations, right? So now in English, if you didn't pay attention to grammar in Spanish class, <laughs> well, no worries. We are going to learn grammar here in English, okay? So punctuation is important. I know that is maybe not so fun, not so interesting, but we had to pay attention on it. Now, the number three, volunteer for reading, please. Come on, guys, let's participate. Okay, okay, me. Go ahead. Okay, the warehouse doesn't have enough dog. Therefore, we have to put product in the what is the pronunciation? Iceland. Isles. Isles. Isles, yes. Do Isles. you know? Isles. Isles. The letter S doesn't sound. Isles. Isles. Mm -hmm. Do you know what Isles is, guys? No. I have the idea what is um, the place where we walk. Exactly. Imagine when you are in a bus, okay? Uh, imagine that this is the bus. <laughs> Here we have lines of seats. And on the other side, yes, we have seats too, yes? And then in the middle, we have a space where you can walk. What is the name of that space? It's an aisle. That is an aisle. Okay. In, the, in, in, El, Sal in El Salvador, it's difficult. I <laughs> <laughs> that's true. That's true. And this is the same, guys, for example, in houses. In the house, you can have an aisle. In the airplane, right? In the uh -huh. airplane, there are aisles. Actually, if you are going to travel by plane you can choose what type of seat do you prefer do you prefer window seat that means that your seat is next to the window or you can decide for an aisle seat that is the seat next to the aisle got it yes yeah got it pretty good so that is aisle. What is the meaning of ducks? What do you think? Product. Mm, not really, Duck but close. 
what would it be ducks? According to the sentence, try to make sense. Mm, it's, it's, it's like a, a port. Similar, similar. Similar, yeah. Mm -hmm. Imagine, uh-huh. I understand. I understand. Uh, based in the context, that is is place for for putting order uh, products. Yes. Different uh, stances in the in stands. Spanish. We say stands, right? And yes, again, you go to the warehouse, okay? And in the warehouse, you have like some specific places and you say, okay, uh, you can put the box here, right? And the other box over here. So the place where you put the boxes, that is docks. In another translations, right? Sometimes this word can be translated as muelle, embarcadero, Okay, that could be another translations, but for us inside of this context is like the stands. Okay. And in this scenario, it says that they don't have more. They don't have more room. So what happens with the products? They need to put the product in the aisle. All right. So what can I do here, guys? Comma, semicolon, point. What do you think? Semicolon. Maybe. Okay, sure. Again, this is optional. You can add a semicolon. Do I need a capital letter? No, necessary. No, it's not necessary. In semicolon, in semicolon with a new. I'm sorry? A semicolon, we don't need, need a capital letter. No, it's not necessary. So it's optional. If you add semicolon, keep it simple, zero capital letter. Don't forget to add the comma. And that's all. Now, in the last one, volunteer for reading the number four. Aha. Uh -huh. I don't listen to the girls. Girls, are you there? Only men. Only the men. Yes, girl, what <laughs> the happened? Men. The men power. <laughs> girls. Come Today, on, the girls. men is... Sorry. It's <laughs> they, the men. Right. <laughs> oh, my the number, God. The number four, teacher. Mm-hmm. The, yeah. con the conveyor belt broke as a consequence. There is not enough staff to put arriving packages away. Thank you, Lucy. Lucy keeps the girls alive. <laughs> very girl, very good. Okay, in this case, guys, what is the transition that I'm using here? Consequently. Mm, consequently. Uh, we can use a uh, point or a semicolon. But where? Here? Or where? What is the transition? Only consequence? It's us. As. As. As, as a consequence. That is the one. So again, in this case, it's optional. If you want, you can put a point. And what will happen then? I need capital letter. <laughs> well, I cannot draw in here. Okay, imagine that this is the capital letter, okay? <laughs> capital letter, and after I need a comma. Comma. Okay? Um. That's it. Or you can, instead of a cap point, you can add a semicolon. You don't need capital letter, and the last is a comma. As simple as that, guys. So in this topic, the most important thing is if you are typing the punctuations, don't forget that. Of course, if you are speaking, it's not necessary, right? Because I mean, but yes, when you are typing, imagine that you have to type an email, 
all right? Or if, if you have to redact an, a, like an important document, punctuation is important, okay? Uh, yes, Magdaleno, do you have a question? Yes, I have. And I, teacher, I don't, don't understand are... clearly the, the <laughs> context of the second clause. In which, me? in the number four? Yes, in the last one. Mm -hmm. The second, the second close after in, uh, is not enough stuff. The, the, the last part I don't understood. Okay, what let's- What mean put arriving packages away? Oh, to put arriving. Arriving is the packages that are getting to the place. So it's like, I don't have people to receive the packages that are arriving, los paquetes que están llegando. That is the meaning, to put arriving packages. Arriving packages son eso, los paquetes que están llegando. That is the meaning. What happens here, guys, is that we have something that we called in English, phrasal verb. The phrasal verb is to put, away arriving packages in this scenario packages is the noun arriving no es un verbo arriving is working as an adjective okay what is the meaning of put away what do you think have you ever heard that phrase albert it's, it's, it's uh in translator is uh put away como Alejate. Mm. No, 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 no. Depending, it depends. Uh -huh. Imagine that I have a truck. El truck llegó al warehouse and there are a lot of packages, right? Pero ustedes solo tienen like two employees y se tiene que descargar rápido, right? Entonces ustedes dicen, hey, I don't have enough staff que saquen los paquetes entrantes o los paquetes que están llegando. Yeah. That is the meaning in that scenario. Uh, is it clear now, the second clause, Magdaleno? Teacher, the context, the, the, teacher, the pendant context, the, the word change, for example, away. Ah, yes. Look at this, guys. That's why you have to read the full sentence. Um, in English, not all the time we can translate letter by letter. Okay? Mm -hmm. So, a veces para entender una oración, no la podemos ir traduciendo palabra por palabra. Si la vamos traduciendo palabra por palabra, nos va a dar una oración that for us in Spanish is like... Nada que ver, ¿ok? So, por eso hay que tomar toda la oración and try to understand. Especially when we see phrasal verbs. En las phrasal verbs significa que tenemos un verbo y una preposition y ellas juntas forman un significado específico. Entonces, no es que traduzca put y away lo traduzca aparte. No, they are together. Okay, phrasal verb is a little complicated topic, but little by little you have to learn it. De hecho, yes, yo estoy segura que hay muchas phrasal verbs que ustedes ya se la saben. For example, how can I say despertar? Wake up. Wake, wake up. up. Or wake up, open your eyes, right? So, esa es una phrasal verb. We don't say I wake. No, we say, I wake up, and then I get up. Those are phrasal verbs, okay? So, but there are more. <laughs> there are a lot of phrasal verbs. Little by little, you can learn them. Got it? Yes? Any questions so far, guys, about the transitions, about the punctuations? Thank you, teacher. You're welcome. No questions? No question, teacher. All right. It's clear. <laughs> clear as our chat, all right? Like a uh, juice. Yeah? 
<laughs> As a juice? What kind of juice? <laughs> oh my God. Many, many kind of juice. <laughs> Coconut juice. All right. So guys, I'm going to check attendance. When you listen to your names, please say present. Remember guys, if you are not listener, cameras on, please. Um, Adriana Escalante. Present. All right. Carlos Abrego. Carlos Abrego. No. Okay. Um, Christian Alexander. Christian. Oh, okay. Very good. Eh, Erika Yasmin. Okay, uh, Fatima Denise. Present teacher. I cannot see you, Fatima. Yes, hello, como teacher. Ah, okay, okay, no problem. Uh, Herman Alexander. Present teacher. Very good. Hector Francisco. Present. All right. Uh, Isabel Hernandez. Present, miss. Very good. Ivan Guzman. Present. Cool. Uh, Jamie Raquel. Present. Very good. Holman Giron. Present. Very good. Lucy Natalie. Present. Very good. Magdaleno Escalante. Present. Very good. Mirna Elizabeth. Oh, I, th I think she's listener. Um, Nelson Antonio. Present. Very good. Oscar Armando. Okay, I think he's listener too. Rosalina Alvarado. Presence. Excellent. Okay, uh, just a suggestion. Mirna, no sé si me escucha, because I know that you are listener, but if you can listen to me, cambie su nombre completo, please, uh, en su perfil de Zoom, porque si no, no van a saber que es usted y no le van a poner los minutos de Zoom, please. Así que change it. <laughs> I don't know if she will listen. Okay, but let's continue. Now, yesterday we were talking about being a manager. Do you want to be a manager? Yes? No? No. <laughs> no? And you guys, do you want to be a manager? Yes, I want to be. Do you want more money? Yes, a lot of money. Of course. <laughs> Very good. So let's talk about some challenges, some problems that you may have if you're a manager. Okay. I have these questions. In the first question, what are some common issues related to warehouse management? What do you think? What problems can you find? in a warehouse. What do you think? Mm. I have uh, the, the manager is, um, it's necessary to analyze the, the um, uh, amount, amount of products in the warehouses. Okay. Teacher, uh, maybe can be an issue about inventory. Mm -hmm. yeah. mm -hmm. Yes, definitely. Mm -hmm. What else? What could be some other issues that we can find in a warehouse? When we have, we don't have order, we don't have clean the warehouse. The warehouse. Yeah. Imagine, guys, that you cannot find the product inside of the warehouse. My gosh, that would be terrible. So, some of you, if you remember, I asked you these questions about the issues that we may have in a warehouse. Some of you talk about the rats, <laughs> some of you talk about leaks, and we were trying to figure it out, how can we resolve it? So let's see some of the most common issues 
in a warehouse management. Okay, imagine that we have a warehouse. The warehouse is a chaos. Uh, the last manager didn't do his job. The last manager was totally irresponsible. Uh, and now the company hire you. You are the new manager, but you have to deal with different problems. So imagine guys that this is you and that this is the warehouse. So what do you think? Is in order? Yes or not? It's a mess. It's a mess, right? A mess. Look, at, look at his face. What do you think? How does he feel? It's a, it's a, the, he's a disappointment. <laughs> All right. He looks disappointed. He looks worried, <laughs> right? So imagine that this is you, okay? But they will give you a good salary. All right. Now let's check vocabulary and see the issues that you have. Okay, new manager, I present you the issues that you have to deal with. The first of all is inaccurate receipts and purchase orders. What do you understand, guys? What is that? Inaccurate receipts or inaccurate purchase orders? What do you think? What is that? I think that is inappropriate. Mm -hmm. What else? Um, no. Inaccurate receipts. The the, the warehouse received the the purchase orders and different. Uh, no, 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 no difference. It's a. Uh, inadequate. 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 Inadequate conditions, maybe. Could be. So imagine, guys, when you go to a restaurant, you look at the menu, and in the menu says that your dish cost five dollars plus. Uh, two dollars of tip for the waiter but when you receive the ticket or the bill it says that your total is 55 dollars what would you do is that the correct amount is that the correct receipt or is there a mistake it's a mistake the calculator Exactly. What would you do? Would you say, ah, it's okay. I will pay the $55. Would no. you do that? <laughs> no, absolutely not. So that is the meaning of inaccurate receipts. Okay. So maybe the total amount was $50, but in the receipt says that you need to pay, like, I don't know, 500 maybe. Or another example, the purchase order. How would you feel? Just imagine that you buy something on Amazon. And I say, okay, I'm going to buy some sneakers in Amazon. But when my package arrived to my home, I don't see sneakers. I just see two t-shirts. What happens here? Do I have the correct purchase yes or no no it's... no right so that is the meaning of inaccurate purchase orders so those could be some issues that we can have in a warehouse what can we do to prevent these kind of issues what do you think? Mm. You are the managers. Give me ideas. Everybody, go ahead. 
in the in this case the inequity receives the manager uh, reviewing in, in the ticket in the systems mm -hmm. or or manager calculator in the manualmente manually 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 the, the, the ticket or bill yeah that's a good one it's a lot of work but yeah you have to verify everything okay do you maybe, think guys uh-huh sorry maybe it's important to define why we have this kind of problem because maybe the the employee don't have enough knowledge to um to do this kind of documents and maybe we just must do, um how do you say capacitar uh, to... i forgot <laughs> uh but to teach to train to the teach training. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. To train. training mm, training to train. is the noun the verb wow. is train to train mm -hmm. mm, i don't know <laughs> and that's true i mean imagine guys if all these receipts you have to work on excel for example and your workers cannot do that they don't know how to do it you have to teach them, you have to train them. And in that way you can prevent, All right? Pretty good. Is this a serious problem or not so important? What do you think? It's a serious problem. Definitely, it's very it's a big serious. Problem. Excellent, yes, it's huge, <laughs> right? Huge. Now, huge. let's see another problem that we can find in our warehouse. Lack of communication between employees. What is that? What do you think? Mm -hmm. I think that issue maybe can result as a, when we have a new employees and they don't have again a good train or a good training mm -hmm. and maybe sometimes the uh, and also the language may, maybe can be an issue that is because uh, if in in this warehouse uh, the people only speak english for example and and the in the other one and the other employee don't speak english and only spanish maybe we have a lot of communication. That's a very good example. Imagine guys that you as a manager, you speak English, <laughs> but your employees only speak Spanish. Will you have a good communication? No. 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 Really. Imagine that I have this coworker. He process all the information about the products that arrive to the warehouse but he doesn't talk to the girl who is the one to create the inventory they don't talk they hate each other <laughs> do they have good communication no never oh. <laughs> right so lack of communication is when the information doesn't go in the different employees. The reason for a lack communication can be a lot. We have a lot of reasons of lack communication. The language, uh, because people doesn't get uh, people don't get along each other. Mm, they don't have good relationship or simply they just don't do it. Imagine that the other guy makes a mistake and he says nothing. Is that correct? What do you think? No, it's not, it's not correct, but uh, the, the employees, when a, 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 bad, a bad relationships in the, in the uh, work, uh, compañero de trabajo. Co-workers? co -worker. thank you. Mm -hmm. When a, a bad communicator in the co-working is 
Dif difficult. Definitely. I, I think the, that bad communication of co-workers, maybe it's a, a reason of a bad leadership. And that Pretty is because good. If, the, if the leader don't have uh, objectives of, of some um, good reasons to explain to co-workers the good communication, we don't have. Exactly. So remember, guys, all of these aspects is the responsibility of a leader. The leader needs to check how can the things can work perfectly. So if we have a bad leader, we are not going to have good communication. Now, another issue that we have here and is very related to this one, lack communication between employees. If we have lack communication, probably we will have lack of cooperation between departments. Imagine in a company, we have different departments. Yes or no? That's yes. There are some people that they are in sales department. Some other people are in customer departments, administration, accounting, human resources, etc. What happens if, look at the picture. Imagine that these ones are customer service. They are working hard. They are trying to do their best. <laughs> but look at these ones. What happens with them? Are they working? No. No. What are they doing? Nothing, right? They are just there. Mm -hmm. So is there a cooperation here? No cooperation. I can be, I can be people lazy. <laughs> exactly. In the companies, we can find lazy people, right? And that's why there are some people that says, right, Ay, es que los del departamento de ventas no hacen nada. <laughs> Have you ever seen that situation? Ay, no, es que los de administración, they never do their job, they said. Ay, no, the human resources, they never work. So in this case, we don't have cooperation between the departments. And again, this is an issue of the leader, okay? Even sometimes the leader can have like their preferences and we say, ay no, es que solo se lleva bien con cierto grupo, <laughs> right? Have you ever seen that in some companies? Yes, the lack of cooperation. Yes. Yes. Think about your company. Is there lack of cooperation in your company? Yes or no? What do you think? In my in my currently job, we don't have that problem. But in in my um, previous my previous job they have trouble with the facturation department and between the facturation department and sales department they have uh, serious troubles <laughs> imagine so if we don't work together that's a big issue Right. So imagine that you are in a company, you are the manager and you have to resolve this. <laughs> it's a lot of work. Right. Now, what is another issue that we can find in a warehouse? Look, warehouse space and organization. What happens if we don't have good organization? Hmm. What will happen? Look at this picture. <laughs> Do you think that they have good organization? Do you think that they have the correct space? It's bad organization. <laughs> yeah, imagine it's like what? A lot of packages over where uh, we don't have a lot of space. So 
It's a disaster. Okay? Disaster. So, we need to put order. And the last uh, issue is the time management. What do you understand for time management? What is that? In my, in my opinion, is the handle what you do uh, related to time. Mm -hmm. The time off is one of the employees in this case. Exactly. In this case, guys, we deal with deadline. What is that? What deadline is deadline? Is, deadline is the date when you have to finish someone someone work. For example, when you have to finish your report at the end and if in every month uh, your deadline is the last day of every month. Mm -hmm. In your company, guys, do you work with deadlines? Yes or no? Yes, absolutely. Uh -huh. yes, yes, I do. And what happens if you don't get your deadline? I mean, if you don't have your activity done when it has to be done, what happens? Uh huh. We have a little troubles. <laughs> little. With the salary. Yes, just little. <laughs> exactly. So maybe your manager will get angry, right? Maybe you won't receive your salary on time. Okay. So time management. We need to sure. organize it. Yes. Yeah, how can how I can say? Uh, Llamado de atención. Warnings. Uh, warnings. warnings. Mm -hmm. Exactly. That's another one. When you don't do your job on time, the first things that you will receive is a warning. And they say, okay, firme me aquí, please. <laughs> right? How many warnings can you get in your job? Maybe two. Two? Okay. The, the third one is to fire. <laughs> Lo promovimos. Lo promovimos a customer, right? <laughs> <laughs> exactly. So, time management. Okay, if you see, all of these ones are problems that we can find in a warehouse. But not only in a warehouse, but also in different companies, right? Which of these one do you consider is the most important issue? Like... <laughs> The ones that we have to resolve first. What do you think? Every, everything. <laughs> okay, but imagine that you are the manager. You are new in the company. You have the five problems here. You cannot resolve them, all of them at the same time. You have to go one by one. So what would you resolve first? Uh-huh. I think the lack of cooperation between departments because the problems become if you don't have a good communication with the other person. Mm -hmm. Maybe you can control the situation in your department, but if you don't have uh, some good communication with another thing, there is a big problem in the, in the company. Okay, that mm -hmm. makes sense. How about you guys? Which one would you resolve first? I think so. Uh, it's uh, the first problem. Problem is is uh, solvers. Inaccurate lack, receipts. Inaccurate. Thank you. Mm -hmm. Inaccurate receipt. Lack of communicators between employees because employees is a uh, is a uh, what. Son los que hacen, las, hacen que las cosas pasen, se hagan. What do mm -hmm. you say in English? They make things happen. They make things happen. Mm -hmm. They make things happen. Mm -hmm. Okay. All right. And, okay, I have some of your classmates says that they will focus on the lack of communication or lack of cooperation. And the rest of you guys, which one will you resolve first? 
Teacher, I think right. the lack of communication between employees mm -hmm. because yeah. if the manager capacity, capacity mm -hmm. and delegate uh, co-workers uh, can avoid the, the other problems. Mm, that's a good point. So if the manager train, the manager teach to their employees and they have good communication, do you think that the other issues can be resolved? Yeah. Mm, okay. Yes, teacher. Okay. All right. Who else? I was listening to someone else. Teacher, in my opinion, the the most important in this and those five issues are lack of communication between employees and lack of cooperation between departments because from these two problems depend the other three mm -hmm. and then if you resolve the, the those two problems you are resolving at the same time the other three Mm, that makes sense. Very good, guys. You are thinking as managers now. Excellent. Now, look at here. I wanted to imagine that you are a warehouse manager and that you have the five issues that we just studied. I wanted to rank the issues from one to five. The number one is the least important. That means that the problem that you will resolve at the end. And the number five is the most important. Okay. Uh, you need to put five in the ones that you consider is the problem that you have to resolve first. The ones that you have to resolve right now. Okay. In this case, Number five, what is the most important? Lack of communications between employees or between departments. What will be the number five? Lack of, lack of communication. Lack of communication between employees? Yes. Everybody, do you agree? What do you think? Yes, of course. Okay. Yes, I agree. So that is the problem that you have to resolve first. Perfect. And then what is the number four? Lack of cooperation between departments. Okay, the lack of cooperation. Nice. Okay, imagine that you already have good communication between employees. You already have a cooperation between departments. Okay, what is the next problem that you will resolve? Warehouse space and organizing. Okay. It's nice. a huge problem. Mm -hmm. But maybe it could be time management for me. But it's my And for my me, opinion. it's inaccurate receipts and purchase <laughs> order. Okay, so we have different opinions over here. Uh huh, guys, and the rest of you, what do you think? For me, it's the fear one too. Uh, the inaccurate? Yes. Okay, inaccurate receipts and purchase orders. Yes, Who else? Sure. Everybody and you? What is the next problem that we are going to resolve? Everybody, wake up. Let's participate. Okay, imagine that in this case, two people say the inaccurate receipt. Okay. Okay, are you ready? Resolved the issues with the receipts and the purchases orders. Hmm, what do I need to resolve now? For me, time management. Time management. Okay. Who else? What about you guys? For me, warehouse space and organization. Mm, In my maybe. opinion, is warehouse too. Warehouse That's too? In my opinion too. Warehouse too? 
Okay, most of you think that is warehouse. So, okay, and time management is this. According to your opinion, I know that we have different opinions, right? But imagine that in general, this is the order of priorities. Something that we get in common is that we consider that the lack of communication is the most important, right? So guys, you are the managers. You have to resolve these issues, okay? And it's necessary to think about strategies. How will you resolve lack of communications? If you have lack of communication, let's pay attention in this sentence because this is the topic that we are going to continue studying. If you have lack of communication, what will you do? Mm. Mm -hmm. In the first in, in the first place, uh, the manager uh, prepare trains and the topic the work team. Okay, so imagine you are the manager. You can say, ah, okay, if I have lack of communication, I will prepare a training for my staff. Sounds good. What else, guys? If you have lack of communication between employees, what will you do? Maybe hire a good leader. Again, can you repeat? Hire a good leader. Ah, okay. I will hire good leadership or leaders in this case. A leader, yes, mm -hmm. leader. Okay, yeah, sounds good. What else, sure. guys? Yes? Uh, for me, I think that it's important to take some minutes in the week to talk about the situation in, okay. in the department and the activities that we have. Pretty good. Uh huh. How can I say that in so future? I will take some minutes in the week for for get a meeting with my team. Ah, very good to get a meeting with my team. Pretty good. Girls, only the boys are answering again. Tell me, give me your ideas. If you have lack of communications, what will you do in order to resolve it? I think the, the other uh, maybe solution um, is with that, the, the good training and uh, we need to have a follow-up. And for each employee, and, mm -hmm. and like an, uh, an action plan for that. And we can have a, a very uh, little meeting, so or short meetings for, mm -hmm. for each. And How trying to personalize, I don't know what is the, <laughs> the correct. Personalize? Yes, personalize. How can I say that idea in future? I will. I will take an action plan. Very good, an action plan. I will take an action plan for each employee. For each, for each employee. Excellent. Yeah. So pay attention in this structure. The first sentence, what is the grammar tense? Present, past, future? Present. Okay. Present. That is the problem that I have right now. And I'm going to give a solution. The solution is not happening right now. The solution is in? Present, yes. past, exactly. It's in future because it's the action that I will do. Yes. And that is the topic that we are going to study right now. Do you have any idea? What is the name of that topic? Nope. 
Okay, is the first conditional. Okay, the first conditional, guys, is a combination between simple present and future. Before checking the structure, I need to see if you remember the future structure. If I want to talk about future, I can use the auxiliary or the modal will. Do you remember will? Yes. Yes? So, so. Okay, everybody, how about you? Do you remember how to use will? Will is for the future. When you yeah. are you when you have probab probabilities. Exactly. In this scenario, just remember the structure. If we use will, will is a modal. Will is the same. It doesn't matter if you are talking in third person, in plural, in singular. We will use will for everyone. I will cook, for example, you will cook. She will cook is the same. How can I use will in negative? The, the you said uh, the modal won't? Exactly. Won't, everybody, is just a contraction of will not. So you can use both. You can say I will not cook or I won't cook. Imagine if I ask you guys, what will you do next year? What will you say? Next year, I will study advanced English and English corporativo. Ah, very good. <laughs> Sounds like a good plan. How about you guys? What will you do next year? Oh, you don't have plans. Oh my gosh. Uh huh. I, I, I want to take vacations. <laughs> okay. Imagine that you already have your vacations. What will you do? Will you travel? Will you sleep? Will you? I don't know. What will you do? I will. I will travel in the in the in the okay in the parks next okay. weekend. Sounds good, okay. So, future. Can I say, look at this sentence and tell me if it is correct or not. I will to sleep. Can I say that? No. No, no necessary the, the word to. Exactly, I don't need the preposition to. How about if I say, I will sleeping? No. Never. No. The verb is in the basic form. form. Or okay. Basic. Very good. The contraction is I'll. Exactly. You can use contraction. Instead of saying I will, we can say I'll. I'll sleep. I'll travel. I'll study English. I'll have a meeting. Just be sure to exaggerate polite. the L. I'm sorry? That is polite, teacher. It is. What happens, guys, is when we're speaking, it's very normal to use contractions. It's like the natural. If you want to sound more natural, more fluent, we use contractions. If you are writing or typing a message or writing an email, we don't use contractions. We have to write it like complete, okay? But if you are talking, use contractions. There's no problem at all. Got it? Yes? So mm -hmm. everybody, is it clear the structure of future when we are using will? Yes? Any questions with the future? No? No, no question. Okay. If you don't have questions with will, now let's analyze the first conditional. Uh, I need a volunteer for reading the definition, please. 
The first conditional yeah. is used to talk about things that may possi possibly, possibly, possibly happen in the future. All right, look at this, guys. This is a very important word. I'm talking about things that possibly happen. It's just a possibility. We are not 100% sure that is going to happen. So for example, if I ask you guys, uh, tomorrow, what do you think? What will be the weather for tomorrow? Hmm, what do you think? Will it be raining? Okay, so you can say tomorrow it will rain. Are you 100% sure that it will rain? No. No, no? <laughs> right? No. How many possibilities do we have that tomorrow will rain? 50%. Maybe 50%, right? So when you use will, it's because we don't have a lot of possibilities. It's just maybe, right? Imagine if I ask you guys, uh, for the next year, do you think that will we have an earthquake? What do you think? Yes or can no? Be. It can be. Are we a hundred percent sure? No. No, really, right? So that's why will it's only for possibly things. So when we are talking about the first conditional, we are talking about those activities that maybe will happen in the future. So we are going to need two clauses. Do you remember the word clause? Yes? Uh-huh. Clause. ¿Se acuerdan que era clause? Yes? Sí. Everybody? Oh, ya se les olvidó. Yes, teacher, it's a sentence. A Correct. Exactly. In the first conditional, we are going to need two sentences. The first sentence will have the word if. if. And the second sentence will have the word the will. Future. Exactly. The first sentence is going to be in simple present. And the second sentence will be in future. Let's see some example. If it rains, what will you do if it rains, guys? What will you do? Imagine that tomorrow will rain. What will you do if it rains? He will bring his umbrella. Okay. So in the first sentence, I have like the problem. Okay. Or I have the action. And in the second sentence, basically we have the result. In the previous scenarios, we said, okay, what will you do if you have lack of communication? Esa era la primera clause in the previous exercise. So this is the problem. Simple present, and I have the word if. So what do I need next? I need the result. ¿Cómo voy a resolver esto? I need to provide a result, but in future. Again, some of you say, okay, if I have lack of communication, eh, aquí. if I have lack of communication, 
I will. Uh, training. I will. Training. Okay, I will have a training. Or I will train my employees. Again, Teacher. one sentence is in present and the other one is in future. Yes, go ahead. I have a question about vocabulary. Mm -hmm. When you have when you have a training with with your people with your um, teamwork, mm -hmm. uh, exist one kind of training in Spanish is um, un entrenamiento para involucrar al al equipo de trabajo. Exist alguna exists some word in English to explain that? Uh, not that I know specifically. But you can just say it like, imagine in this case, you can call it a communication training, for example, or involving training. So this is to get people together. You just need to say the name of the training and then you need to say the word training. In this case, if you want to people get involved, you can call it like uh, gather training, gather is como poner juntos, right? Or communication training, something like that. But in this moment, I don't know it exactly like a good definition or specific definition for the training that you mentioned. Necesitaría buscarlo. Your yeah. answer is so useful. Thank you. <laughs> All right. All right, guys, so is it clear the structure that we use for the first conditional? Yes? No? Nope. Yes, 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 yes. Okay, let's see if you remember. In the first conditional, ¿qué necesito? What do I need if I want to form the first conditional? Mm. What do I need? We need the, the word if, and we need uh, a statement uh, close in simple present, and mm -hmm. one second close separate with a comma and future okay. with. The second sentence will, using will, will be in future using will. will. Can I use be going to instead of will? What do you think? Uh -huh. I don't know. <laughs> Everybody, what do you think? And what mm. the will? Creen que podría usar be going to? Because be going to is for future to. So what be do you think? To. If you are going to, you are you are speaking about something what have more possibilities. It is uh, is like for a plan. sure maybe is uh -huh. yes you have a plan. And so, will you don't have a plan is a possibility. Ah, so imagine, guys, remember the definition. First conditional is for possibly actions in the future. Possibly. So can I use be going to? Yes or no? No. No, exactly. Guys, in the first conditional, we always use will, okay? Because will is for possibilities, okay? Let's see an example, guys. Imagine uh, if tomorrow <laughs> uh, we don't have classes. <laughs> it's an example, okay? <laughs> It's what? a party, it's a party. Ah. Ooh, party, party time. Oh my goodness. <laughs> okay, imagine that if tomorrow we don't have classes, what will you do? Uh-huh. I, I will, I will, I will review the class. 
Oh my gosh, so beautiful. <laughs> That's a good statement. I will review the class. Pretty good. What else, guys? If we don't have classes tomorrow, what will you do? I will I go to the pool. I will go to where? Uh, Bed early. Okay, hold on, hold on. No logro escuchar a Rosalina. I'm sorry. Rosalina, can you repeat? I will go to the movies. <gasps> oh, um, my goodness. The Rosalina. City of the Netflix. <laughs> <laughs> She's not going to review the class. Magdaleno, what were you saying? What will you do if we don't have classes tomorrow? I will go to the bed early. <laughs> I will go to bed early. My goodness, guys. You will practice on the platform. You will study English. Only, only Ivan will review the class. Thank you, Ivan. Extra points for you. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you. Very good. So this is the way that we use the first conditional. Can I use this sentence in negative? What do you think? Will yes, not I, one. I, uh huh. If we don't first... have, imagine, imagine. If we don't have classes tomorrow, tell me something that you won't do. Your teacher. Uh huh. I won't to review the class. <gasps> oh, la traición. I mm -hmm. won't review the class. Ay, Cristian, puntos menos for you. <laughs> <laughs> okay, look, we can use the structure in affirmative and in negative too. There's no problem at all. Understood everybody? Yes? Yes. yes. Easy or difficult? Easy. Easy, right? It, the, the word won't is new for me. Uh, really? Mm, yes. But I it's just, very useful. Uh -huh. I just knew the will, auxiliary will, but uh -huh. not won't. Ah, okay. Mm -hmm. Pretty good. So remember, guys, in this case, just won't is for the negative. You can say will not, or you can say want now we can switch the order you can say the future centers first and the if sentence you can say it at the end for example you can say i will review the class if tomorrow we don't have classes and the meaning is exactly the same. Or for example, you can say, I will go to the movies if tomorrow we don't have classes. So we can switch the order of the sentence. And the meaning, guys, is exactly the same. Look at the example. In the first sentence, I start with if. If it rains, he will bring his umbrella. Or we can say, he will bring his umbrella if it rains. Understood? Yes? No, no, no change, no changes the, the meaning, the, the expressions. No, it's exactly the same. It doesn't change. The only things that you have to keep in mind is the punctuation. If you start the sentence with if, you need a comma. comma. And after the comma, the sentence in future. But if you start the sentence with the future, you don't need a comma. That's the only difference. Y no necesitamos la coma porque tenemos la palabra if. If is like the connector. I will give you an example. Let's think about the weekend. Imagine guys that the weekend you don't have to work, you don't have homework, and you have a lot of money, okay? 
So, if you have free time on weekend, what will you do? Uh huh. Complete the phrase. If I have free time on weekend, what will you do? I will have fun on every weekend. <laughs> I will have fun. Okay, I have the sentence. I start the sentence with if, so I need a comma. If I switch the order, what will be the sentence? I, I will have will fun. Have fun. Uh -huh. if, if I have free time on weekend. If I have free time on weekend. As simple as that. Look at the second sentence. Do I need a comma? No. No. Okay. So guys, that is the structure of the first conditional. Is that clear? Yes. 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 Any Excellent. questions? <laughs> Clear us as water? Yes? Yes. Uh, okay, I hope so. Okay, let's have a practice, everyone. I'm going to show you some scenarios and I want you to complete the sentences using the first conditional. In this scenario, you have to use your imagination, okay? So I want to everybody participate, please. Uh, let me open up the exercise. Okay. Look at this sentence. If my mom needs help, hmm, what will you do? Complete the sentence. I will help. I will help her. Pretty good. I will help her. Excellent. So the first sentence is in simple present. The next sentence is in future. Excellent. Next one. Volunteer for reading, please. If I finish my homework early, uh -huh. I will go to the party. <laughs> nice. You see, Lucy, very responsible. I liked it. How about you guys? Complete the sentence, please. What will you do if you finish your homework early? If I finish my homework early, I will go to bed early too. <laughs> very good. <laughs> Excellent. Super good. Okay, volunteer, please read it. If it's, if it rains tomorrow, I will stay in my house. <laughs> okay, pretty good. <laughs> Sounds like a good plan. Okay, what about this one? Volunteer, please. If the war if the water is good tomorrow, uh -huh. I will take a shower. <laughs> okay, sounds good. Sounds good. Volunteer, please. If I study English, I will get a good job. Pretty good. Sounds good. Uh huh. Volunteer, please. Aha, uh -huh. volunteer. Teacher, if the statement uh, means if I if I have time with my friends or not. Yes, meet is when you get together like spending mm -hmm. time if you have a meeting that is the meaning of meet in this sentence so what will you do if you meet your friends i mean if you have a meeting with your friends what will you do we will speak in a lot okay very good and you guys what will you do i will like life a lot Okay. If I meet my friends. 
cool. Very nice. Okay, look at this one. Volunteer, please. Me, teacher? Yes, please. If my friend has a birthday, I will give a present. Ah, very good. So guys, perfect sentences. If you see the first sentence is in present and the result is in future. Again, when we use the first conditional guys, don't forget that we are talking about possibilities. Okay, we are not 100% sure that this action will happen. It's very useful, the first conditional, when we are providing results, okay? Because imagine in this case, your boss can give you the problem. Hey, we don't have enough staff. What will be the solution? And you can say, okay, boss, if we don't have enough staff, we will hire new employees. So we can give solutions using future. Understood? Yes? Yes, okay. it is clear. Cool. Any question, everybody? Personal, I don't have. All right. And you guys, any questions so far? Just in the exams. <laughs> during the exam you have the questions yes wax <laughs> okay but during the exam i cannot help you guys <laughs> hey. ah it's the exam so um we are going to have a speaking activity right now but before that i'm going to check attendance again so everybody if you listen to your name say present adrian escalante present very good. Carlos Abrego. Present teacher. All right. Um, Christian Alexander. Present teacher. Very good. Erika Jasmine. Oh, she's listening, I'm sorry. Uh, Fatima Denise. Present. Cool. Germán Alexander. Present teacher. Very good. Um, Hector Francisco. Present. Very good. Isabel Hernandez. Present. Excellent. Ivan Guzmán. Present. Very good. Jamie Raquel. Jamie Raquel. Okay. Holman Girón. Present. Okay. Lucy Narali. Present. Okay. Magdaleno Escalante. Present. Okay. Uh, well, Mirna is listener. Nelson Antonio. Present. Okay. Oscar Armando. Uh, I think he's listener too. Very good. And Rosalina Alvarado. Present is. Pretty good. Okay, everybody. We are going to have some speaking activities. I'm going to show you some scenarios and you have to tell me what is the possibilities. Okay. For example, in the number one, what will you do if you can't sleep tonight? What could be a possibly answer here? Uh -huh. yes, yes, please. I, I will take a, a shower. Okay. So I need you to provide the full answer, please. You have to say, if I can't sleep tonight, I will take a shower, for example. What else? How about you guys? Imagine that you can't sleep tonight. What will you do? If I can sleep tonight, I will take the ginger tea. Ah, very good. So that is exactly the way that I want you to answer each question. No me digan solo la sentence in future. No, let's try to say the full sentence. The sentence in simple present with the word if, and then the sentence in future using will. Understood? Yes? Yes. Pretty good. Use 
your imagination, guys. Remember that this is not 100% sure. This is just to explain possibilities. I'm sending the questions on WhatsApp's group. Please, everybody, participate. I know that we have listeners, but if you are not a listener, I mean, practice. This is the moment that you can use to talk, okay? So I'm going to create the groups. Give me a second. If you are in a group that nobody is participating, please let me know and I will switch you to another team. Give me a moment. Okay, let's go to the breaking rooms, everybody, and practice. Zero Spanish, please. Hello, guys. Hello, buddy. How are you? I'm fine. Are you ready? <laughs> you just hello. Okay. First one. Okay, first one. What will you do if you can't sleep tonight? What will you? What will? You do, you if, do. You, uh -huh. uh, if I if I don't no if I want I can't sleep tonight I will see a movie <laughs> watch on, on TV I will watch movie uh huh watch watch movie see it's different no because I I don't have a connection only see. <laughs> <laughs> it's a joke. It's a joke. <laughs> okay. How about you? you? Yeah. In, in my case, if I can sleep tonight, I will spend my time in my phone. Mm. In your what? Phone. My cell phone. Ah, okay. Mm -hmm. Only TikTok. <laughs> <laughs> TikTok on three. Yeah. Instagram. <laughs> Thank now you. working on the platform. Uh, teacher, <laughs> I already finished. Oh, he already mm -hmm. finished. Oh, really? Yes. Good job. Tonight. Okay. <laughs> so you see, guys, very responsible. That's good. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> okay, continue, please. And you, Herman. Okay, in my case, if I can't sleep, I will try to to study more English. <laughs> oh. extra, extra points. Extra point. Very good. And Isabel is there? Isabel is always listening. No, I don't think so. Not tonight. Hello, Mr. So... Mr. Hernandez, are you there? I want to listen to you. Hello. Maybe it's not there. Yeah. Okay. Continue, guys. Please. Okay. The second. Okay. Second one. Mm-hmm. I will. I will go to the restaurant. I think mm. it's a good idea. Maybe in my case is uh if I'll. If I feel bored, I will watch a movie or go to the cinema. Okay. The third one. Will you, could you read it, Nelson? Okay. Please. What will you eat? 
if you are hungry at midnight tonight. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Yeah. I'm hungry today. What do you think, Fatima? If I will eat, no, if I hungry at midnight tonight, I will prepare a sandwich for it. Mm. If I'm hungry at midnight tonight, I'll eat meat with cereal. I don't know. What can I say? <laughs> Just water. Possible. <laughs> I don't know what can I eat. Sweet bread with coffee, <laughs> tamales, <laughs> pupusas. <laughs> no teacher, and also I, I have never eat after age of age night. Oh really? Never, never. Never. Drink wow. a milk. I try. Hello? Drink a hot milk? No. Nothing at all? Nothing. Wow. Only, only, only I drink water. And maybe when I have a, a body, only for, for that reason. And you girls? OK. So never, that's good. I mean, <laughs> good for you. Yes. I, I wish I had that superpower because I usually am angry after the class <laughs> <laughs> all the time, you know? I don't know. I always have dinner before the class <laughs> and a second dinner after the class. Oh my God. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, I can't help that. I never, do, um, I, I never do that good for you and you girls have you ever i mean do you often eat something at midnight or at 11 or after the class in my case i can eat so late because i have problems with my stomach so ah. i need to i need to eat before the class and then i can eat anything <laughs> and if you if you are hungry just a little bit like uh -huh. maybe a little cookie or cereal or very milk. very little snack something yes oh, yes, okay snack. because i maybe i'm gonna be ill the next day in the morning uh, so yeah it's not okay. a good idea <laughs> <laughs> yeah don't do it and fatima how about you do you usually eat after the class or at midnight no, because I I have problems too. Just just drink a tea. Okay. Or milk, maybe? Or, or milk, yes. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Interesting. All right. So usually usually people drink milk when when they can't sleep. Uh-huh, that's a good idea too. Yeah. Perfect. Or take, a, or take a shower. It's too option. Take a shower. Okay. Yeah. Take that's, a shower or, yeah. or drink a, a glass of milk. That helps. That's true. Very good. Yes. Okay, continue, guys. You are doing great. Excellent. Thank you, teacher. Okay, no. My serious favorite. Ah, okay. My favorite, my favorite serious. Taxi. Okay. Good. Did you finish the and questions? Yeah, we finished. 
Oh, all right. So let me ask you. Um, hey guys, imagine that you feel hungry after the class. What will you do? Or what will you eat? Um I was telling to Ivan and if I want to eat something at midnight tonight, I will eat or I will prepare some milk, a glass of milk and a sandwich. Ah, okay. And you, Ivan, what will you do if you feel hungry after the class? Okay, I will prepare a uh, I I I I like uh, soup Maruchan. <laughs> Maruchan soup. <laughs> Maruchan soup. It's like it, Maruchan soup. Ah, okay. <laughs> nice. It's not healthy, but it will no no, no it's, it's it's true <laughs> but uh, i i like i like it you like to eat i like to eat ah yeah. very good excellent okay guys i will check just one more group and then we are going to go back to the main room okay you can continue okay. asking questions about different uh possibly scenarios okay <laughs> Because I you am, like a heavy metal, then I you're am, special people. <laughs> I am just I am just living the life. Mm-hmm. That's nice. <laughs> Do you like Metallica concert? Yes. Metallica, yes, the band. I, I like the I like the band. I like. Uh, they have they on. have a concert. They have a concert with the electric electric like orchestra orchestra yeah, it's yeah. really good concert it's other in los angeles city it's other one but in the next month a kiss is coming wow yeah okay. really yes i didn't know it's a classic it's a it's, it's a, a classic music yeah it's nice you can roll it's okay uh -huh. Hi, Miss. How are you? <laughs> Gossiping always, right? Ah. You say talking in English, then eh? we try to talk with Holman. That's yeah. great. We are, we are we are gossiping, but in English. Okay, that's good. That's good. <laughs> okay, what will you do yeah. if if kids come to El Salvador? In the next uh, the next month. Uh huh. No, so September will... month. Oh, in September. Okay. Yeah. So what, what will you do, guys? I will, uh, if, okay, I'm, I'm trying the same example. If kids come to El Salvador, I will go to the concert. Ah, uh, pretty good. <laughs> and you boys, what will you do? <laughs> if kids come to El Salvador, uh -huh. I will go with Rosalinda. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Magdaleno is my partner. Holman, will you join them? For be honest, if maybe if, no, if kids <laughs> come to El Salvador, I want I <laughs> I, I I want go because uh -huh. I, am, I am not I am not a big fan, and uh -huh. I have. Pay a lot of money because uh, if I I I I I want to watch a a, a band, I would like uh, uh, the VIP. Uh, uh, maybe maybe. Oh. <laughs> uh, wow! It is <laughs> other other level of faith. The guy. Oh my goodness! Very no. humble. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Be, be a when, little... when I grow when I grow up I wanna be like uh, hold <laughs> my... no, no, no. be a little bit near okay but I am not a, a big fan so mm -hmm. but it's so I, nice that okay to... so guys <laughs> yeah that's true it's going to be like it's expensive fancy. And yes we have to use the negative Ah, that's good, Holman. Excellent. So, guys, 
Let's start saving money. Rosalina Magdaleno, save money. <laughs> okay, yeah. we don't we don't have more time. Let's go back to the main Why? room, okay? Why? <laughs> Let's go back. Okay, miss. All right, time's up. We are going to wait for your classmates to go back to the main room. All right, all right, time's up. Very interesting answers. Okay, guys, time's up. Let's wait for everyone. Some of your classmates are still in the breaking rooms. Let's wait for them. All right, all right, very interesting answers. I like that. Guys, could you answer all of the questions? Yes, nope. Yes, teacher. Well, honestly, yes. no. <laughs> because of the gossiping, you were talking in different uh, options, right? Hmm. But did your classmates speak in Spanish? Nobody. Nobody, that's great, you are improving. Did your classmate use the correct structure using the first conditional? Yes. Yes, Excellent. they did. Ah, very good, excellent. So, very nice answers. I liked it, guys, because I was listening to some of you giving a lot of details, so that's great. Congratulations, you are doing excellent. So unfortunately, we don't have more time, okay? So we are going to continue practicing the first conditional tomorrow, okay? So guys, remember that tomorrow is Friday. I'm going to upload the grades on the platform. So if you haven't finished the unit number three, so let's run and finish it. If you haven't finished the midterm two, also finish it. Okay, do you have any questions, guys, before leaving? Teacher, yeah. I have a problem with the platforms. In which exercise? Uh, I don't, I can't into the platform. Ah, oh, you cannot access. Yes. Okay, in that scenario, Fatima, try to enter and take a screenshot and send it in the group so we can help you, okay? Because we need to see what the message that appears there. Okay. okay. Pretty good. Okay, everybody, any other questions before leaving? Teacher, with, uh, with the platform and the exercises what, um, what have problems, what we can do? Do it again. <laughs> no, no, some exercise, no, don't permit, don't oh, permit. Uh, don't allow the, to do it again. The, com the complete um, percentage. Ah, okay. In that case, guys, if the exercise doesn't allow you to do it again, uh, that is the percentage that you will have. So, unfortunately. Teacher, in some case, we don't have the opportunity to get the 100%. Mm -hmm. because the, there is not one question. Yes. There is missing a question. I know, guys. I know. And that's why uh, if I can fix it, yo les añado el porcentaje faltante, right? So, like in the unit number one, era un mistake de la unit, así que si quedaba como en 96, yo se lo sumo a 100. En este caso, voy a revisar la unit 3. Y si hay un desfase y es por eso que no llegan al 100%, se los voy a sumar yo manualmente. No worries. The number, the number three have a trouble in the last exercise. Ok, perfect. So, lo voy a revisar y si les hace falta ese porcentaje, yo se los añado. No worries. Got it? Got it. Goodbye. Pretty good. Okay, guys. I don't will ask anybody to stay. So everybody, you are free to go to sleep. Have a beautiful night. See you tomorrow, guys. Bye -bye. Goodbye. See, See you. Bye-bye.